what, what was I sharing about before I got to this, this relationship to transformation? Now, there's, there's a point in spending time with him that now causes for transformation. When the, that new bet is achieved, your yearning will become different because your nature has been changed. Just the way a lion is not yearning to eat grass, huh? that's how they have changed you. So your priorities also will alter. You will realize that you begin to give emphasis to spending time with God. I'm heading somewhere before we pray. It's not just about being reborn also. There is a natural aura everybody carry. There is an atmosphere around you subconsciously interacting with people before they really know who you truly are. Do you know that if I don't know, like I don't know this brother or this brother and I'm seeing you for the first time, there are certain premonitions I would have about you. Even if there is nothing you have done to suggest that opinion. This is how people see some people and they just feel be careful. And there is no, there is nothing that person have done to warrant that suspicion. There are places if they steal something, everybody will be thinking about one person. There is something on that person's head that always singles him out for, for, for reproach. Anywhere. And then there are people, no matter where they hide, even in a thousand people, people will always say, be our leader. What they are, they, they don't know you from anywhere. Everybody just came into just one. They don't know your background. They don't know who you are. You have no result to show that you are better than anybody. But auras, auras. There is like perfume. People wear it subconsciously. When God wants to put favor upon your life, He tilts your aura. He does something to your aura. Men don't know why they are moved. They, they don't know you from anywhere. A door was locked for everybody. They say no room. You, you came. They say no room. You turn your back, they lose their peace. They say, you, no, that one, come. What they are responding to is your aura. See, this is what Isaac was speaking about. What's that scripture? I think it's Genesis 27, 27. He says, the scent of my son is like the scent of a field that the Lord God has blessed. This is, he changed that guy's aura. Hi. Suddenly, he will realize that there are many things that does not react to action. It's not always by works. There are many things, many other periods of your life where the favor of God upon your life will be responsible for the results that enter your life. There are, see, there, there are only a handful of people that will not open up to you and tell you that there is a book of achievement in their life that can only be God. They cannot explain how they... Somebody calls you and say, I, I just thought about you as I got a hint of this information. What is he calling you for? A job offer, a news he had. He called you. That person has a brother. That person has a relative. In the day that matters, the particular door opened and the favor on your head, make sure he forgets every other person that has blood connection with him. Somebody looks at you and gives you five million and says, just take it and go and try to start this business. Let's see whether it will work. Are you, are you telling me that he does not have family members who are waiting on him for one or two things? It's the favor of the Lord. It's like a perfume. The way you wear a perfume is not three-dimensional. It's not palpable. You can't touch it but you can, you can perceive it. This is what favor is like. People carry favor. You can't see it, but you can, you can deduce that there is a finger supporting this person. There are people here, the programming of darkness over their family is an aura of shame, an aura of servitude. From one generation to another, the fathers will pass it to the sons. An aura of shame, of ridicule, There are people who have had dreams because God was trying to draw your attention to this truth. You have had dreams and you have seen yourself in a place where there are many excreta, many feces. There are many feces everywhere, a very filthy, and you are seeing you are wearing a filthy garment. They are showing you the aura. That is the subconscious energy people pick when they come near you. Mind you, your reputation will travel ahead of you. 
Your reputation is like a protocol officer that goes ahead of you and opens a door before you arrive. So before people get to meet you and say, who are you? May we know you? They already adopt certain, certain conclusion, which is a product of whatever they feel like they pick around you. I've met a couple of people who don't have anything on anybody, but they tell me they are not comfortable around them. I don't, I don't have my peace around that person. And they stay with that conclusion like a joke. That person has no favor around them. If you are here and you continue to enter doors and the door will push you back, you, another door open, you enter, it push you back. After two years again, another opportunity, the same storyline, the same outcome of going back is an aura. There is something people are not waiting to know you first. They continue to conclude. They continue to draw conclusion. Listen, listen. Exactly like I told you. The scent of my son. He says it's like the scent of a field that the Lord God has blessed. What is the scent around your life? This is what doors respond to. Many people will knock and no door will open and forgets over change of seasons, gates that are hosting new realms of reality, new realms of increase to open for you, one of the things gates will react to is your aura, the team. Fill me up till I overflow. I want to run. Oh. I want to run over. Fill me up <laughs> till I overflow. I want to run. next week and continue this matter. But I want you to hold this prayer. Lord, the scent of my destiny, the scent over my life, the scent over this destiny. Listen, listen, listen. I don't want you to be careless about what we want to do. I need you to realize that you may not have the opportunity to meet so many people, but they can have premonitions about you. There are people that will just see somebody's face. You're my witness. And people will see my picture and call me and say, well, We just saw a picture of yours. And we want to just encourage you. Picture. Mind you, when Jacob was running away from home, he, he, did not, he did not carry any sheep. He didn't ride any donkey out of the house. The only thing he took was a staff, just, just to aid his movement. Esau was crying that I have been cheated. And it was Esau that stayed at home and inherited all the land, all the cattle, everything physical was Esau. Yet he was crying because they knew what blessing is. There's an aura Jacob took from home. It's the scent he carried. He left home with it. Is that scent that brings all these physical things? All these, these things Esau is, is inheriting. He knows it, 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 it is momentary. What is on Jacob can command these things. What is the scent over your destiny? What do people pick every time they come near you? Why do doors continue to close anytime you come near it? Why is the most popular answer you get from people no? Why does it work for every other person except you? Why do you need to explain yourself all the time? Why can't they just believe you are innocent? Why must you present a proof all the time? There's, a, there's an aura. There's a scent. There are people you look at them and, and immediately you begin to feel like this person is an unfaithful person. I'm telling you the truth. And they continue, they continue week in, week out, day and night, explaining themselves in every season. Lord, what is writing this ungodly narrative about my life? 
Lord, what is telling people and selling the wrong ideas about who I am? Lord, what is responsible for this wrong conclusion about me all the time? The scent, the scent of my son is like the scent of a field that the Lord God has blessed. What is your scent? I will not give you a prayer point at this point again. Just carry the body in your soul. Turn it. Turn it into a prayer. The Holy Ghost will tell you what to pray for now.